Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Today's first story is by scientists in China who have found that the moon had evidence of a weak magnetic field up until 2 billion years ago, which is a new discovery for researchers that are trying to understand the lunar dynamo. The dynamo is the process by which the magnetic field of the moon came to be and then slowly faded. And it's still a mystery to scientists as to when and how it actually began to fade. The Chinese scientists that published their paper on 1st January used samples from the Chang'e 5 mission. And by utilizing magnetization tests, they found that 2 billion years ago, the moon's rocks had a magnetic field with an intensity of 2 to 4 micro tesla which is quite weak, but it's not non-existent. One of the theories posited by the scientists is that the thermal convection or the movement of rocks and material inside the moon could have been the reason for keeping the magnetic field active. The next story finds how abrupt periods of climate change during the last ice age, which was at least 100,000 years ago, coincided with increased wildfire activity. This finding comes as a result of scientists studying the sources of ancient gas bubbles that are trapped in Antarctic ice. Through previous research, scientists know that the last ice age had certain periods of climate change spikes, which saw abnormal temperature rises and changing rainfall patterns. They also know that during these spikes, methane also spiked a lot, but they didn't know the reason behind it. Now, by using a mass spectrometer to analyze the ancient methane bubbles in the Antarctic ice and find out its sources, the US and Swiss scientists have been able to determine that global forest fires caused the rise in atmospheric methane in the last ice age. The study is the first time that these methane spikes have been explained by scientists and it indicates a better understanding of the cycles of historical climate change. Next up, Scientists in Belgium have found a reason as to why lungs are a frequent target for cancer metastasis. More than half of cancer patients that have cancer tumors spreading beyond their primary site, which is known as metastasis, have seen this spread occur in lungs. The reason is the existence of aspartate in lungs, an amino acid that allows easier translation of cancer cells in lungs as opposed to in other parts of the body. The aspartate protein is heavily present in lungs and it triggers one particular initiation factor in cancer cells that lets them grow aggressively by providing a more suitable environment inside the lungs. Now, with this discovery, scientists can look for drugs and therapies that will target this specific translation process and hopefully reduce lung metastasis. Our final story today is about a migratory mammal species known as the common noctule bats which travel thousands of kilometers every spring across Europe. Now, a new study published in Science Journal on 2nd January finds that these bats use warm storm fronts to aid their migration to conserve energy while flying. Warm storm fronts are traveling masses of warm air that occur right before a storm or before rain. And scientists that had put sensor tags on 71 bats found a spurt of migratory activity every time that these fronts occurred. This is the first time the migratory activity of these bats is being observed carefully, since migration is largely seen to be the forte of birds, such as the Amur falcons that travel 20,000 kilometers every year from Siberia to Mozambique. However, by studying bat behavior, these scientists also found some new information, such as the fact that some bats can travel up to 400 kilometers in one night. And also, they don't fuel up a lot and gain weight before their migration. Instead, they take a hopping pattern with a lot of stops to keep eating. This is all that we have for today.